This playthrough is rated E for everyone. <coughs> Going up? Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Grandia. In the last episode, we finished going to the Zaydon, uh, Zay Padon ruins, uh, but unfortunately, some stuff hit the fan as uh, Fina got captured, found out that maybe she has some powers that we don't realize, the group got separated, and just Mullen and, and his dad just aren't getting along, and well, let's just say it's not working out for a lot of us, so maybe we can fix things. So let's escape this place and see what awaits us. Pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. yeah, just hopefully that thing doesn't crush us. Yeah, where are we anyway? Wait, what is that? We saw it in a cutscene a long time ago, back in Disc One. That must be the Granger. I may not have succeeded in getting that spirit stone, but I can console myself with another Akarian. <laughs> Mullen, you should be happy. Our plan is one step closer to completion. General Ball, we have lost half our soldiers underneath that mountain of rubble. What will you do about it? Half our soldiers? <laughs> I shall fly in the grandeur to J Base, the castle where Gaia sleeps. We have been fortunate enough to obtain this girl. Let us hurry and make a present of her to Gaia. You will take the battleship Lion Lot. Join me once you have withdrawn the troops. Understood, Melon? Yes, General. Looks like, despite everything, he can't fight it back against his dad, so. And those are the three witches are back again. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Is this really gonna work? Is this like Arc the Lad or something like that? Okay, I didn't think so. That was fun while it lasted. Vita! I guess she's gone. Blast, how can I get to her? Justin. Rap? Guido? How? Huh? What is that? How'd you guys survive anyway? Have you ever seen a fly manta before? I stashed it just in case. Justin! Hello! Get on! We gotta go rescue Fina, alright? Right, we're coming, Fina. Convenient that we had a manta ray here. Yeah. I would say it's a deus ex machina, but. It's not. Well, I guess it is kind of saving the day in a way. No explanation of where they were, or what they've been doing, but yeah. Uh, this seems awkward. This whole scene right here. <laughs> How intriguing! Celine has a younger. <laughs> so you have a sister. I <laughs> uh, can't do James Earl Jones. So Celine has a younger twin sister. Yet it makes sense. Come to think of it, the ancients made Akarian statues of four-armed women. They meant to represent twin sisters. And you are indeed another Akarian. No. I, I'm just a person. Let me go. What are you afraid of, girl? You will be part of Operation Idrisil, the greatest step in human evolution. I'll never help you. Justin will come and take care of you. Justin, is that the name of the boy who has the last piece of the Spirit Stone? Coming to save you, is he? He shall be dealt with soon, and I will obtain the Spirit Stone. Justin will beat you. He's much, much stronger than you are. Well, I'm definitely pretty strong. <laughs> my, my. How energetic you are, my dear. But we will take care of that in time. You will obey as Lean obeys me now. Oh, that's a creeper smile I've ever seen it. Stay away from me. What are you going to do to me? Whew. Thank God for alarms. Ugh. <laughs> What's that noise? Huh, Justin. Stab him. Don't you have your dagger? I guess not. Obviously, they get rid of her weapons. Well, 
they're ready for our return, uh, our eventual attacking at this place, I guess. Rap, Guido, hold up. I'm taking her up. Wait, how's he learned to control it? Shouldn't Guido be the one doing this? Because, you know, he's the one who found it. Yeah, whatever. Details, details. Surprised this thing's running as fast as a ship. These Manta must be pretty, pretty fast. Oh, well, I guess we're dead. Thanks for playing Grandia. Uh, what? But I thought we got shot down. Whoa! <laughs> and like all JRPG heroes, they can fall from infinite height and take no damage. Yes, indeed. Guido, you all right? Hey, Justin has a pained expression. You don't see that one too often. Well, I felt a better, Justin. Tell me why is it I'm always falling down when you're here? Hey, Rap, quit napping, okay? Ugh, some people might be worried about their friend at a time like this. Stupid pile of junk. I ought to just trash the whole ship. Not yet, Rap. First we have to find Fina, then you can trash all you want. Okay, okay, only a little trashing until we find Fina. I got it. Anyway, Z, we can no do nothing if we go don't get inside. Okay, look for Fina. Watch your backs, okay? All right. Yeah, we find ourselves on the grandeur itself. Yeah, I like the music for this place is very techy. Makes sense for a place that's so, uh, you know, tech-inspired tech inspired as the uh, grandeur itself. Anyway, yeah, we'll just go inside. Now, yeah, let's take a look at our equipment. So, oops, uh, items there. So, yeah, we're all, unfortunately, we're all full up, so... <laughs> I might have to actually start using the stones at this point, so because there are some items we can grab here. But luckily, we only need to grab we only need two free sl slots. So, but the game is nice enough to give us a stashing place. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Was does everyone have a? Did I forgive a to get to forgive a trust to? Uh, I might give him the trust then because I, I I think I forgot to give Guido, Guido a trust. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's stash stash all those uh, seeds. Uh, we don't really need the ca spell casting thing. I could give it to Rap, but uh, eh. not right now, anyway. Maybe when, I, when, I, maybe when I'm grinding, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll just grab all the seeds here. Yeah, put the jewels up. We'll sell those another day. Same with the warp shoes. Uh, okay. How's my levels doing before we, before I explore this place? All right. Uh, you could do dagger levels for a while. That would give me some agility, but let's see, how are you doing? Yeah, we could stick you with sword for a while. We'll give you the main, main gauche. So we give you the god knife. And then I guess we'll stick with you. Let's see, what I, uh, I don't have the mace. I could pull the mace out of inventory if I really wanted to. Yeah, but sure. Let's get the, uh, let's get one of the staffs. Uh, I don't think it was in Fina's inventory. If it was, it's not gonna not a big deal. I need to remind myself after this is all over, go grab a um, go grab those books and give them to uh, give them to the people I'm gonna use them on. Let's see. Yeah, I guess Fina had that had that had the the, the mace. That well, I mean, I could give him one of the hammers. It doesn't have to be the warp staff. Yeah, she must have it in her inventory. Oh no, there. No, that's not it. Never mind. Yeah, we'll just stick with whatever. It's not a big deal. Yeah, let's recover. Yeah, this whole mission is save Fina from a creepy ball. <laughs> anyway, let's grab this. This is the move fruit. All right. And one, there's, well, there's basically seven, seven bits of money, which is 280, and two groups of big cash, which is 840, and then a piece of armor. Man, we move fruit. Plus five, max SP. Strongly considered giving it to Justin, actually, out of all the characters. I don't know, we'll see. Just because he uses a lot of SP. Yeah, so, anyway, we've got some new combatants here. 
You want to guess what their name is? Why, it's combatant, of course. Yeah, so. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they're similar to privates and sergeants from before. Uh, they could, uh, they have physical attacks. They could also do heavy blows, sword dance, and shock sword. They've got 344 HP, 98 experience, 127 gold. Uh, they got really low agility at 25 and a low vitality at 78, so they can take a lot of hits, uh, or quite a few hits. Uh, but they'll fall as easily with the uh, physical attacks. Uh, they got decent strength at 125 and okay wit at 105. Uh, the big thing is they're also weak to all elements, and they can drop rescue sets or battle helms. Uh, technically, the death masks we have are better, so I'm not really uh, wanting to get them to drop stuff if it really comes down to it. So, but anyway, uh, since we're near a place, let's actually show off. Uh, uh, let's let's show off Death Sword. I've never actually shown that one off yet. Kill you with one blow. We'll see if that happens. Of course. Oh, it actually worked. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have the bow on, so I can't do that. Uh, let's show up. Let's show a power shot. Just to show them off. This medicine'll do it. Here goes. Ha! Ow! <laughs> yeah, but it, it gives you a one in everything. Yeah, see. Even max HP goes up too. So. Now right, let's just hit him with the dragon cut. Gadwin, secret move. Dragon King slice. Yeah, and we could just physically attack him to death, really. So. What a cinch. Actually, I wonder if I could do enough damage to get uh, get Guido, the uh, the expert finisher on this one, so I could get a flawless victory quote from him. This might be the best chance we have because the for whatever reason the Garlisle soldiers are always weak. Now, like they're just pitiful, easy enemies to take out. So, like no trouble at all. So, now, let's take these guys out. Since they're so easy to finish off, I unless they take forever to fight, I, I'll probably just um, I'll probably just like show all the, all the attacks on screen. Also, it really comes down to it. So that's not gonna do enough damage. Take this. Moge kind of need or Guido needs to kind of go last for that to work. Uh, let's see if we can show off Demon Ball since I haven't shown that one off. Try this one. Nice. Come back with reinforcements. Yeah, I think we don't need to go like second or third to be able to get like the flawless victory. Otherwise, I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to get it from him. Because he just doesn't do the damage, you know. Let's try it again. Yeah, these guys are super easy. It's just here for fun, really. Really, the only challenge will be the bosses in this place, because uh, there will be bosses. Uh, I'm trying to think if I, yeah, if I physically attack him, the Justin Soup fan is supposed to off. Uh, yeah, let's uh, just have him physically attack and see if I can get a. Oh yeah, he does like a with the. I think I showed off his dagger attack, but he does like a multi attack with his. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see if we can finish this guy off, so that way. Uh, I'm hoping I could get Poge to finish him off. We'll see. Good. Let's see. If that's enough for Ballas. But... Piece of cake. You expect him to say something else too, not just piece of cake, but all right, we got his uh, all. I think we've unlocked all of his lines of dialogue. I think. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I think there's the one, the second one for the uh, a different version of the bo of a boss because there's two types of bosses in the game, and there's dialogue for each. Whoops, don't need to save it. I saved it before I went into the uh, went into the dungeon the first time. That way, if for some reason. I needed to go back for whatever weird reason, or I missed something for recording purposes. I could go back, so. There's quite a few people here. I'll take care of them on screen. 
Man, those guys are dropping rescue kits like flies, huh? Hey, we got a sword level for, or sorry, a, uh, a dagger level for Guido and a sword level for Rap. Uh, okay. Yeah, the rescue kits, we've seen this before. There's 120 HP to each party member. Probably give them the Rap, or Rap, uh, Guido. Yeah, since there's only one on screen, I'll show this one up. Even though it's, like, not much to do with anything, so... Really, right now, I'm just physically attacking everyone, maybe casting some magic every once in a while. Just to get some uh, levels up while we're, while we're here. Blow you away. Take that. Even though I'm not going to do a ton of damage with Hal, for example, you have to do the second level to do a really good amount of damage. But... Uh, yeah, better physically attack him here. Nice. That should be enough for Rap to finish him off. Yeah, it's like, it's like, unless you're trying, you're going to beat these guys really, really easy. Like, even if you haven't been doing what I've been doing over the course of the game, it should be really simple. Yeah, as long as you, a, a good rule of any RPG is just fight everyone once. Oh, there's three over there. I'll take care of that, too. All right, so uh, I forgot that you have to open that uh, that gate to uh, let him out, so or to actually get to them in the first place. So, all right, now I'll fight these guys off screen. All right, we gained uh, like a uh, earth earth level for Justin, wind level for Rap, and a couple of dagger levels for uh, Guido to get him to uh, 26 there. So not too bad on that. Also, I also went back to the uh, item stash to give a, put a trust in Guido's hands. Not that I need him, per se, but uh, let's see. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'll take care of these guys. All right, taking care of all those guys. Wow, they were easy, but yeah, we easily gained quite a few levels for Guido. We got his knife up to 30 already, so I'm going to work on his bow skill for a bit. He's a lot better with the bow. Or throwing weapons because he's just so much faster than, than doing the sword or knife because it takes him a hot second to actually hit the attack. But when he does throw, it seems to go pretty quickly. So that's usually his weapon of choice. Rap only got like a sword level from him. I think I got wind level as well and uh, some water levels from casting snooze. Although these guys aren't particularly weak to snooze. So it's not something I would use every time. Even though they're weak to water, it's it doesn't seem to click very often for me anyway. So... Yeah, get some gold there. Then we'll get the uh, final treasure here, the war mail. All right, let's take a look at that. Bad boy. Oh yeah, they also dropped a ton of uh, battle uh, helms. But if you got the death masks, those are clearly better. But if you didn't have them, these are good alternatives. They drop pretty frequently, I've noticed. So there you go. And it dropped a lot of rescue kits. I actually had to run back and stash more rescue kits because they kept dropping them. So. <laughs> But anyway, uh, mail. Right, gotcha. War mail. Uh, 32 defense and 3 move block resistance. Uh, if we didn't have the ore armor, this would be really good armor, but we do. So, you know, any day, any day boo boo, I guess. Let's see. How many enemies are in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Saw that guy over there. I guess I'll finish off the guys in this abrupt area, I guess. Let's see. Oh, yes, money. So, yeah, 4 guys, so I'll take care of them really quick. And these guys just can't handle the power of a rabbit and a, and a rap, I guess. So, yeah, I already got Guido up to level 30 on this thing, so I'm just going to get a sword to uh, 30. And then we won't really try that hard anymore on his weapons. Because really, that was my goal, to get to at least 30. I could get further, but I won't try as hard now, now that I've gotten to that point. Otherwise, he's, uh, you know, otherwise it drags on the fights a little bit. So, all right, one, two. Just looking at, uh... Just the two here? Okay, yeah. take care of this. Alright, just to gain a level from fighting one of those guys, so decent. Decent level, nothing too crazy though. Alright, since there's the one guy here, I'll just show him off screen. I was gonna do him together, or together, but uh, Justin uh, gained that level, so I just, want, I just want to show when I actually gain levels. Yeah, I know I should probably show when I show off skills. But there's really not much to it in that case. I don't know. There's something different about showing off an actual level than a skill level. Take that. 
Because you can gain multiple skill levels per battle depending on how things go. Yeah, I've been mainly just hitting with snooze if it, if it hits them. It doesn't have to, but if it does, it helps it. Now I've been just physically attacking the wrap just to get his little uh, weapon levels up. Yeah, it's a little bit harder when you don't give him the chain, uh, chain gem. You know? That'll happen every once in a while. Like sometimes the enemy will just, uh, or the AI will just run around someone for some reason, even though they should be able to hit them from there. You know, I mean, it, it's weird. The pathfinding in this game is very odd. Yeah, we are also getting another sword level for uh, uh, Guido. Hmm, we won, we won! Yeah, you can tell Guido is definitely designed to be the, th to be the range shooter of the group because he's a lot faster than Sue ever was at it. And he just he's just able to throw out those. They turn into darts as he throws them at people. He goes whoosh, 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 really, really fast. So it's almost worth just keeping him on the uh, uh, bow for a while. But yeah, at least we can get you some... Uh, wait, no, I think I re equipped you with the god knife yeah, because I gave you the sword. Still... But we got the rest of the game to get wrap up those levels anyway, because he's he's a permanent party member, so. Oh wow. We really are high up, huh? Seems like such a strange place. Why can't we climb under that? I don't know why. Yeah, this is definitely the chapter or section of the game where the game goes into overdrive in terms of like plot and it just kind of goes 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 because we're not quite at the end of the game we're we're at that like we're pretty much almost at that like kind of final quarter of the game if that makes sense so hey what is all that stuff hey does this look familiar to you guys probably some kind of engine but it doesn't seem like it doesn't look steam powered yeah the last time we saw that was during the steamer right oh impressive this is a maiden with ancient ingenuity and technology oh really Where'd they get this then? The Garlo forces, you know? Man, crazy. I do like this part of the game though. I I mean, I like the game up for the longest time, but when the game finally kicks in the, the plot, like really kicks in the plot, it really gets going, so. Now it's hard to decide what I like better, the random adventures where we just talk to people and kind of just go on silly side tangents, or, you know, saving the world like every other JRPG. Huh. I do like saving the world in JRPGs. Oh no, not you three. <laughs> Just what I forgot what voice I gave her since a lot. Just what did you think you could do here, Justin? Well, darling, put into my calculations, he's here to help that poor little guardian girl. Boy, oh boy, is he ever clueless. Thanks for bringing us the spirit stone. We forgot it at Tower of Doom. You got away that time, but now you'll hand it over if you know what's good for you. Got away? <laughs> yeah, right. I remember escaping after kicking your butts. We never even fought you, though. Pipe down, monkey boy. We'll settle accounts soon enough. For final encounter against the three witches themselves. <laughs> Saki, Mio, and Nana. Yeah, this is the final time we fight them in the game. I, we still encounter them later on, but this is the final time we fight them. So, uh, enjoy it while we last, folks. All right, so the three, now we have to fight them all three together. They are actually, can be kind of dangerous depending on how things go because they have an ability, uh, oh, now I'm trying to remember. It's like the try, try Trinity attack where it hits an area uh, around uh, the a certain area and it does like a quite a lot of damage. So as soon as you take out one of the characters, they won't do that ability anymore. All right, but let's go over their stats here. So let's go over Mio, who's the weakest out of all of them at 3,000, just like last time. Yeah, she has the ability to use an ability called Super Balloon, Kill Stun Gun, and Trinity Attack. Um, so, uh, Balloon, Super Balloon is a one-hit area canceler, Sleep Paralyzer, and Stun Gun is a one-hit single canceler paralyzer as well. Yeah, they've got their silly music playing in the background, so. Uh, she has 3,000 HP, 3,200 experience, 3,440 gold. Uh, her stats are pretty average. Her best strength, weirdly, is strength at, her best stat strength at 130, but her vitality is 70, and her wit agility is at 80. So not super fast, which is good for us, I guess, so they can get the Trinity attack off. I pr probably should show the Trinity attack, but you can probably find it online if you really want to see what it looks like, because I don't like, 
I don't like getting hit by the attacks if I can help it. But anyway, uh, she is not strong or weak to any um, weapon, so hit her as will. And she's resistant to all spells. Uh, she is a human type, so if you've got the blood dagger equipped, you can do even more damage with them. But unfortunately, Fiend has got that equipped on her, so yeah, that's the problem with knowing when, even when you know a character's gonna leave, that uh, if you maybe not forget, remember to uh, change out their inventory when they move along, they might have something that you could have used. But it's not gonna break the game. It's not like I needed her to do that. But anyway, all right. Next on the list is Saki, who's the. Uh, actually, I guess we could go Nana since she's the second highest in terms of uh, HP. Uh, Nana, she's got, uh, she has her yo-yo abilities like last time. She, she can attack you physically. She has electric yo-yo, spinning yo-yo, and the Trinity attack. The electric yo-yo is a one-hit circle ability, and the spinning yo-yo is a one-hit circle canceler ability. Um, uh, she's got 4,000 HP, 3,200 3, experience, 3,440 gold. Uh, her stats are also uh, not super impressive. Her highest stat is strength at 150, but her vitality is 70. Her wit's at 90, so she's a little bit faster, and her agility is at 60, so not too fast on the field. Uh, no weapon is strong or weak against her, so hit her with whatever. She's also resistant to all magic, so hit her. So obviously, magic is no go in this place. And finally, Saki herself, the strongest of the group in terms of HP, anyway. Not physically strongest, that's uh, Nana. But anyway, she has 5,000 uh, HP, 3,200 uh, experience drop, 3,440 gold drop. Her strength is 140, and her vitality is her lowest at 70. Wit 120, so she's a little bit faster than everyone else. And Julia 80. She's got no strengths or weaknesses in weapons wise, and she's weak to all magic. Uh, so that could kind of help you. We can, we're taking out one of the allies first. Uh, her ability is attacking you. She's got the slapstick home run, max lariat, and trinity attack. The home, slapstick home runs where she hits you with that like weird paper fan thing. Uh, slapstick home run is a one hit single displacer paralyzer. Displacer means it moves you uh, around. So yeah, so uh, fun, fun, fun group. And the max lariat is a one hit single uh, physical. Um, and in terms of spells, Saki can, uh, can cast Cold, Zap, and Wow. Nana can cast Freeze, Stram, Bo and Boom. And Mio can cast uh, Fiora Sp and Speedy. So they've got quite a few abilities, but really if you, uh, if you know how to fight them, you won't have to worry about it too much because we have, uh, we have a Moge with us with his bomb, so that'll help with uh, hitting their IP damage. Good, take this. So hit them with that. All right, that does, yeah, see, look at all that IP that he lost. Even if he didn't cancel the ability, it knocked her so far back. That's why, even though uh, Guido's probably the weakest of the party members overall, he still has some really useful boss boss uh, tanglers. But anyway, let's hit him with Dragon Cut, it. yeah. Why not? Gadwin's secret move, Dragon King Slice. And then really when it comes to, uh, it's really Guido with no gay bomb if you have enough SP and, uh, Justin with Dragon King Slice. Uh, when it comes to um, Rap, that's kind of a tough one to use on him, especially if you haven't been building up his magic too much. So one way to go would be Defense Loss to lower their uh, defensive ability, or just hit him with an attack that hits everyone. So we'll hit him with Defense Loss. Magnitude 10, take that. So we can do a little bit more damage to him. Yeah, luckily none of them have a uh, vanish. Uh, she's gonna get her attack in. Here we go! The Trinity attack! Haha! <laughs> Let me show you my splendid moves. According to my calculations, this one will get him. Here goes! Yes! Yeah! Ow. Yeah, fine. I, I was I was hoping I'd never hit, get hit with the Trinity attack, but yeah. All right. What are you all doing? You're casting Shush and Super Ball. Uh, let's see. The disc Cutter's faster, so we'll hit, we'll hit her with Disc Cutter. Here goes. I was actually kind of hoping they would hit me with Trinity Attack just to show it off, but I wasn't sure if that would actually occur. So. Gadwin, secret move. Dragon King Slice. I actually started talking to her in the beginning. That I'll probably cut that part out, so that way I'm not ruining it. Let's see. I sent with Moge Bomb to, to do uh, IP Good. damage to him. Take this. 
Nice, so it canceled it too, so. Alright, um. Yeah, like I said, I, I really wish, uh. I really wish Rap had some, like, really good, like, all hitter ability. Oh well. I mean, there's not much I can do about that, so. Yeah, let's take out Mio. She's the fastest. Or not fastest, she's the weakest, so. Gonna thrash you good! Dragon King Slice. Gadwin, secret move. Dragon King I mean, Slice. I could use Heaven and Earth Attack, I guess, but. Do I have enough for one Metal Game more Metal Game Bomb? No, we're out, so. Okay. So. I mean, I could have. Uh, I could use, like, a. Uh, um, I could have used, like, a blue. Blue, uh gym or something like that. Uh, he's probably got enough damage to finish her off. That's one reason I was kind of trying to get uh... Uh, I must have miscalculated. That's kind of one reason why I was trying to uh, um... if I hit, her, hit him with disc cutter that'll cancel that attack. That's why I was trying to hit uh, get him with uh, get all his weapon levels up so I could get a couple of okay bomb shots in there. So... Secret move, Dragon King Slice. I do like how the Garla forces have their own unique bot of like battle music overall. Ah, I didn't cancel it. Huh? Oh well, that's You're fine. Dead. Yeah, it's basically the wit, the wit improvement, so she gets her turns faster. So, all right, how are you all doing? Oh, Nana's almost out, so let's work on her. It's almost hard to take this fight seriously just because of the goofy music. Dragon King Slice. <laughs> Gadwin, secret move. Dragon King Slice. Yeah, just because of the resistances to magic means uh, just you're not really one to mess with. Hey, no, it can't be. Bye, bye, ladies. All right, let's try to finish off Saki. I think she she blocked it, didn't she? She has a possibility of countering you, but she, it almost never happens. Yeah, I was just mainly the crap out of her. Ah, come on, really? Eh, do you have any more SP? Eh. Wait, is she going after him? No, she's going after Justin. Okay, you every time? Nope. Oh, well. Oh, man. See that shot of mine? I think that's the same dialogue you get from fighting the previous boss, or from the other boss too, so Guido would have said the same thing he did before, so I don't think I've heard that line from Rap yet, so. Alright, thanks ladies for one final battle. And Rap and Guido gain a level. Yeah, Guido gains more levels than any of the other temporary party members just because, you know, he's such a, starts out so it's a low level, but. Heh, <laughs> a piece of cake, but pretty tough for girls. Alright, where's Fina? Take us to wherever the old buzzard ball is. Da da da. Ha 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 So you think you've beaten us? That's right. Funny, right, Saki? Uh, right. Oh, yeah, right. We just let you win. Didn't we, Mio? We did? Oh, yes, we did. It was all part of our plan. It was all planned for the start to give you us some time, and you boys fell for it. Uh, according to my calculations, the grandeur is now about to arrive at its destination, Dream Base. Yeah, and then we'll get all of our soldiers together and beat you all up. <laughs> what are you, five? We'll get even with you, Justin, you two monkey boy and rabbit man. Bye bye, ladies. Look at them go. Now what, Jess? We have to stop the ship somehow. There would be big trouble if you reach the base like those oddballs said. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, bo <laughs> bogus! I don't know what to do. What time of. Well, where? <laughs> yeah, you can tell this is translated to the 90s. Why didn't you say so? Here, let me just push something. Do you know what you're doing, Rap? Setting it knowledge. Final order will be executed. Uh, whoops! Uh, oh well. Oh, what do you mean? Ah! I guess it worked. Sort of. I think we're gonna go down. 
most likely rapido. You break the ship, but I order capiche. Yeah, right. Well, that's okay. I was gonna trash it anyway. Whatever, look, we gotta get moving and find Pino, okay? Now we have even less time. Thanks, Rap. Yeah, Rap's basically the... I mentioned it before, he's the comic relief of the game. In terms of, like, his attitude and everything like that. And it's one of those attitudes that's kind of easy to make, make fun of. You know, and we grab some gold. Actually, can I interact with anything else? It's been a while since I've been in this part of the game. I don't think we could interact with anything. That just jump out in the stratosphere, huh? Nope, I guess not. Okay, wait a minute. Let's run back really quick and uh, heal if it lets us. Yay! Yeah, those 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 girls are a hoot. Um, if you really have trouble in that fight, obviously you haven't. You would give um, Guido the rescue sets you've been getting and just use those as heals while uh, Rap and uh, if you run out of SP, that type of thing, and then have Rap and uh, just to take out the rest of them since technically we wouldn't be strong enough at the time to do much damage if you haven't been building them up so but luckily i have been oh, there's the other bit of gold there balls headquarters huh? or balls quarters that's probably where fina is at just forgot about you bad boy yeah make sure to heal up by the way so Ranger Passion Play. Actually, let's go to Ball's room. Why not? Let's 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 see what's in there. Perhaps the man himself is waiting with feet and a toe. Or not, it's empty, yeah. So You can knock his stuff around though. And that's where him and Fina were going to uh hug. Yeah. Hug really, really tight. And you know how Fina is about hugging really tight with people she doesn't know. Let's just not go there, viewers. But anyway. Ooh, fiery. Looks like the place is exploding. Thanks, Rap. You know, something tells me this ship may be uh, not much longer. Whoa! Wrath! Guido! Forget us, Justin! Fina, go rescue Fina! But, but, just up! Shut up, Justin! Go already! Oh, good. Good lord. I hope they're alright. Maybe they'll call the, uh... Did we die? No. But, uh, yeah, I hope they survived. Woo, boy. Well, it's just up to us to find Fina, then. Let's go. Hopefully we can do it. No, Fina. Where are you, ball? Let go of my girl. <laughs> run, run. Must save Fina. As far as I know, there's no other treasure to be found. So we're pretty much in the gravy at this point. So And no enemies, either. So... I like how it plays the um, combat battle music for this section, so for some reason it wasn't letting me go in for some weird reason. There you are. Let Fina go! Well, well, so the man who holds the spirit stone is just a boy. Justin! Stay away! <laughs> so, the legend that the spirit stone's light and the Akarian wings call to each other is not exactly a lie. I'll give the girl back to you, my little Justin. However, only in exchange for the spirit stone. He's lying, Justin. Don't believe him. If you give him the spirit stone, he'll just kill you. Please, run away. My ship is about to sink. It's your choice. 
which is really important to you. Okay. I'll trade. Release Fina! Quickly! Ha 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 ha! You are a wise young man. The great mysteries of Angelo are beyond your powers. Come! Give me the Spirit Stone! <laughs> Finally, I have the absolute power of Angelo in my very own hands. Die, you worms! Together with this burning ship! <laughs> Why you all get you somehow? Man, that guy got creepy all of a sudden. He was like, at the beginning of the game, he seemed like this serious general who's like a withered old man who's just like kind of just maybe seeing his days, trying to see, go, get on with his life. But nope, he's a crazy megalomaniac. And he's the main boss of the villain, it seems like. Finally. Took a while. Anyway, let's get back to Fina. Yeah, it was kind of dumb to give him the spirit stone, dude. I mean, of course he's going to betray you. What else did you expect? Nuts, he ran off. Coward. Can't fight a 15 year old boy. Try to jump me in the hole there. Well, lucky for us. We found ourselves a little bit of a thread. Alright, I'm coming for you. Yeah, one final shot to, uh, before we fight Ball himself. So let's, uh, drop. Yeah, we don't need this stuff. Definitely, I don't even need this at all, period. I'm actually pretty good. Um, when fighting Ball, if you. The only thing I'd really think about would be, um,. Uh, equipped being like, um, uh, like earth gear and stuff like that. Or not earth gear, sorry, just elemental stuff because of his abilities. But for the most part, we'll be fine, so. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, you thought I cliffhanger there, one shot, didn't you? Nope. No, sir. We're doing this till the end. This is a whole section. Bogus, is it a dead end? Wait, it looks like there might be a place to cl I could climb up. When did he start saying bogus all of a sudden? Is this from rap? Great. It's one of those, uh, it's one of those, like, people in houses when the people, like, they have older people in and they can't move anymore, so they have those, like, chairs that go up, like the elevator or whatever. So. Now where are you, ball? We can see outside until our doom as this thing falls apart. Cool. All right, ball. You can't run him. <laughs> He's trying to get a wave an escape pod. Justin, Vina, you're a tough little worm, aren't you? But why risk your life for a mere girl? Keep your filthy hands off of Vina. Way to go, Marty. Uh, George McFly. This Akarian is my boy. You have no need of her powers. She's no Akarian. You're nuts. Fina is Fina. For the last time, let go of Fina. No. <laughs> the little worm has a roar of be unbecoming of his size. If it's your way, then you should be proud to tie it my hand then. I don't think so, buddy. For boss time. Against Ball himself. <laughs> the general. All right, the general has less HP than Mio. The heck? Yeah, Mio had like 3,000. She had, you know, he always 2,783. What gives? Isn't this guy supposed to be some like general, you know, tough guy or something like that? But anyway, he drops 4,500 experience, 3,000 gold. He has 162 strength, 58 wit, uh, vitality, so he can take quite a few hits with weapons. Huh? Uh, his wit is 116. His agility is 80. He's not gonna do much moving around, to tell you the truth. Uh, he is not weak or strong to any weapons, so hit him with whatever. He is resistant to all spells, so uh, physical attacks are the way to go against the general himself. The uh, general has multiple different abilities. He can hit you, he can cast Zap, he can cast Healer on himself for 200 HP, he can cast Fiora on it, uh, Fiora to uh, move block, he can cast Shush to magic block, he can cast Boom Pal for explosion, and Howl Nato for wind element. So he does a little bit of everything. But luckily for us, we are quite well uh, built and prepared for this uh, ability. So, 
the really the way to go about them is to either hit them physically or hit them with like si strong single target attacks. Like uh, uh, even though he has resistance to magic, still hit him with like Lotus Cut or Ice Slash or Thor Cut are are good uh, good damage dealers to this guy. So either one would work. So let's uh, go with uh, Zap Cut first or Thor Cut. I mean. Yeah, see, I already did the, do a pretty decent amount of damage. All right, what you doing? Are right, you casting Fiora? Huh? Well, we'll get we'll get our moves out of the way, and then he'll uh, and then we'll uh, start physically attacking him. Up oh, now he's blocking now instead. So, all right. Physical attack it is then. There, right, let's get a lotus cut on him since it's instant. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> Look at that damage. That's pitiful. Alright, let's hit him with a nice slash to finish him off. Yeah. Freeze! He's not super easy, but. Well, you just couldn't have done me in. Yeah! We won, guys! No one's here. <laughs> we beat Ball. That's it. Game over, right? The game, we uh, we could get our spirit summon back, save Fina, end of game. Wow, I didn't think the final boss would be so easy. Well, thanks for playing Grandi, I guess. Yeah, why don't we stab him and finish him off? Oh wait, this is a Raid E game. We're not cold blood killers, so never mind. Fina, are you all right? Let me untie you. This is a twice now you've been tied up, Fina. I thought you were an adventurer. Yeah, although the first time was pretty funny. She was tied up and bald and gagged. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, I knew it. I knew you'd come and save me. Of course, I'd do anything for you, Fina. Oh, Justin. But wait, what about the spirit stone? You must get it back. Yeah, why didn't you take it from his body? That's right. Once we get it back, let's get off this hole. Not so fast. Wait a minute. I thought I beat you. Don't be fooled, boy. You have yet to taste my real power. The power of Gaia. Oh, my God. Oh, what the? Uh, you let yourself go there, dude. You, you are ugly. I forgot he said that. You are ugly, dude. I don't care how many times it takes. I'll put you in your place. Ah! Okay, apparently it does. It does take a lot more to put you in this place. Nuts. Justin. Aw, oh, man. No, no, Justin. <laughs> now you know no human power can ever defeat me. Fools! You insolent fools! I love when people call people fools. You ugly piece of... Now you really asked for it. Fool. Ah! Justin, no. Justin! Ah, foolish Akarian girl choosing to die. It is of no consequence. I finally have the spirit stone. All oh, praise be to Gaia. Fills me with power. How bogus. This is me. My adventure is over. Where's your hat, dude? Justin. The, the Fina, but why? Why'd you follow me? Why'd you follow me, Fina? Now both of us will die. We'll all lose. Finally. Finally. I won't let you go, just. Fina? Fina?
silly. If you were so afraid, you fainted. Then why? Fina! Oh, bogus. No, we can't die! Not now! Not this way! What just happened? Fina, is she alright? She's been sleeping for three days. Say just, she'll be fine in a bit. Just being alive is wonderful, right? If you worry too much, you'll go bald. It's alright. That battleship was whipped out and that fellow ball kicked the bucket. Yeah, he burned to death. Holy crap. There's nothing to worry about, right, Just? Fina, she is waking up! <gasps> Exclamation point. That's great, Just. Are you were you so worried about Fina? Oh man, I, I this is another section of the game I really like. Just the whole saving Fina aboard the the uh, the ship and everything with that and that scene where she shows her Akari powers. Another very touching moment. Man, this game is just full of moments, man. Say, at that time I thought the sun had come out. <laughs> well, thanks to that light, we we're able to find you guys. Thank you for helping us, Rap Guido. Fina, are you really all right? Justin, I'm sorry. Because of me, the precious spirit stone. It's all right, Fina. You're much more precious than the Spirit Stone. It worked out well. When Ball and the Spirit Stone burned, the weird plans in the army collapsed. Dot dot dot. Still, I was a Karian. The Karians doesn't matter. Fina's Fina. I don't understand what it is. Justin, let's go to Lent. I want to find out. I want to know all about the Akarians and Gaia. If we go there, I'm sure we'll learn something. I uh, do think that's a good idea. Me too. With Ball dead, my father's enemy is gone. But it was such an exci exciting way to die. Oh yeah, Rap had nothing to do with that either. Kind of disappointing in that. But that's I, Rap's whole thing wasn't really vengeance anyway. So, Guido, Rap. If you bring them the knowledge metal, the wise men of Lane, they should teach you the way to Lent. That's right. Let's go to Lane, everyone. Great. The adventure continues. Yeah, the main villain's already dead. So all we have to do is finish the game on adventure. Yeah, that was a. That was a tough little side moment it was, wasn't it? But man, well now that the big the big rush of beating the bad guy is out of the way, now it's on to Lent. What awaits us in Lane? What will the metal teach us? And what does the Rainbow Mountain truly have to offer? Will there be gold at the end of this rainbow? Find out next time in the next episode of Grandia. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.